So you just found out that you have irritable bowel syndrome or fibromyalgia or ir inflammatory bowel disease or migraines, and your doctor tells you, well, just avoid your food triggers. Or maybe he went a step further and gave you some sort of a food allergy or food sensitivity test. And then he hands you those test results and he says, okay, well, just avoid your apple. It looks like that came back reactive. So you go home and, um, and yeah, you're avoiding apple, but let's say that broccoli and bananas were not on that test at all. So you eat broccoli and bananas, but you feel great because you're avoiding the apple. Well, what if, what if you're reactive to broccoli and banana and you eat those? Well, you're still going to have symptoms and feel sick. There is no test on the planet that's ever gonna be large enough to identify the 10,000 chemicals in our food supply and the thousands of foods. There, there is a huge amount of foods and chemicals in our food supply, 10,000 plus. So that would be very expensive to try to test for everything. So instead what we do, or what the medical community typically does, is they test for a very small fraction of the total and then out of those, they identify a few that are reactive, like the apple, and they tell you to avoid that. But what they fail to tell you is that you might be reactive to butternut squash or pumpkin or peanuts, and you're continuing to eat these inflammatory foods because they weren't even tested, so you don't know, and you continue to have inflammation and symptoms. You might feel a little bit better by avoiding the apple, but you're never gonna feel 100% better until you avoid 100% of your inflammatory foods. Well, how are you gonna do that if there's no test that can test for all 100% of the foods out there? So we have to structure our protocol a little bit differently. And how we do it is, we look to see what foods are safe. So the mediator release test looks at 120 foods and 30 chemicals because you can react to chemicals too. Out of those 120 foods, we look to see what foods are safe for you, what foods are non-reactive for you. So those are the foods that you eat exclusively. And if you're only eating your safe foods, then by default, you're going to be avoiding all of the foods on the planet that were not tested and contributing to your symptoms. If you're eating only your safe foods, your immune system is like putting it in a bubble and isolating it from all the inflammatory chemicals and foods out there, and it will calm down in a matter of days. Most people see a 50 to 80% improvement in many of their symptoms in a 10-day span. So it is the most effective anti-inflammatory protocol on the planet. Take 25. Okay.